So I'd like to respond to a change.org petition that over 20,000 people have signed. And the petition was to get the Premier of British Columbia, where I live, to restrict foreign investment in Vancouver housing. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's very expensive to live in Vancouver. Rental rates are very high. And, of course, real estate prices in Vancouver are also very high, and they've been rising, actually consistently, for a long time. The thing to understand, though, is that there's a difference between real estate prices and rental prices. The two are related, but they don't always move together one-to-one. -to -one. When you have what we've had, uh, and you have a lot of foreign investment coming in, they do bid up real estate prices, you know, they're buying properties. But the thing is that they are then building on those properties and creating, for instance, apartments, which they then would rent out. And so they would actually reduce rental prices, even though they would increase real estate prices. The key factor here is the interest rate. If I want to make an investment, if I want to buy a piece of land and build an apartment building on it, uh, I'm going to get a stream of rents from that. If I can rent it out to tenants, they're going to pay me at this first of each month off into the future. My costs, my upfront costs, I'm going to expand right now when I build the apartment. And then my revenues will come in over a stream from now until the building crumbles. The key factor is that when I'm valuing the stream of revenues, the rents that people will pay me in the future, I need to discount those values by the interest rate. And so what we've had in recent years, uh, since the financial crisis of 2008, is that the central banks of the world have made it very, very cheap for financial institutions to get credit. Uh, financial institutions have been pretty risk averse, they were pretty shaken in the 2008 crisis, and so they haven't necessarily lent out all the credit that they could have, but still it's been very, very cheap if you're a big bank or you know a, a large financial institution to borrow from your central bank, I mean, Canada, the US, China, everywhere. So when people, these investors, get this cheap credit, you know, they would look at an investment in building an apartment building or condo in Vancouver, and if, say, it wouldn't have been profitable before, now they look at, you know, the same rents, but discounted less because now they have cheaper credit, the interest rate is lower, and so you can afford to wait for that further off profit in the future. Chinese investors who I think see Vancouver as safer, you know, they're less likely to have their assets expropriated if they're in a stable country like Canada. And so they've invested a lot. And to the extent that they have invested in Vancouver, that is actually good for Vancouver renters. We have had uh, cheaper rents because of it, or, you know, for every, for every new apartment they brought on the market, they have made our housing costs cheaper, even though they've raised our real estate prices. Now, of course, cheap credit has another side to it too, which is it can be lent out as mortgages and then people can demand more housing. So instead of you uh, living with your parents for longer or, or having you know, elderly relatives move in with you, you have everyone get their own place and people who would want a bachelor suite, get a one bedroom, you know, etc. And that would tend to increase rents. The other issue is that, you know, the Vancouver specific is that we have very restrictive zoning laws. The government makes it very costly to build new developments in Vancouver. And sometimes it's just straight out illegal. If you want to build an apartment building and your block isn't zoned correctly, you just can't do it. So that's a reason for the sort of generally high prices. There's a reason Vancouver is more expensive than other cities, like say Houston, Texas, where they don't have any land use restrictions. If the people at change.org or whoever created this petition knew a little bit more economics, maybe they'd be petitioning to 
reduce those land use restrictions. I think that would actually be uh, the way to kick off more building and bring down rental prices. So thanks for watching. I'm Garrett Peterson. Uh, you can hear more from me at economicsdetective.com.